Today we're going to give a summary of the Second Commandment, starting with a biblical passage, Psalm 8, 8 verse 1. O Lord, our God, how majestic is your name in all the earth. I repeat, O Lord, our God, how majestic is your name in all the earth. So the second commandment enjoins respect for the Lord's name. The name of the Lord is holy. Remember the name that was given to Moses in the Old Testament was Yahweh, which could be pronounced by the high priest only once a year in the Holy of Holies. The second commandment forbids every improper use of God's name. So blasphemy is the use of the name of God, of Jesus Christ, of the Virgin Mary, and of the saints in any offensive way. The opposite of blasphemy would be to praise God. Saint Ignatius Loyola, in giving us his spiritual exercises, the start of the spiritual exercises, number 23 in the text, is called Principle and Foundation, in which Ignatius says, Man is created to praise God, reverence God, serve God, and be means of that, and by means of that to save his soul. It's also an interesting note that blessed Pope John Paul II, before giving any discourse or before greeting a people, he would often say in Italian, Sia lodato Gesù Cristo. I repeat, Sia lodato Gesù Cristo. That is Italian for, May Jesus Christ be praised. So the opposite of blasphemy would be that to praise God. St. Augustine also says we should be careful that the praise that we give to God with our lips should not be contradicted by the way we live. In other words, there has to be a harmony between our words and our actions. If not, will be called a hypocrite. So let's turn to Mary, who in her Magnificat praised God, that we would learn always to honor and respect the Lord's name. In honor of Mary, we say, My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord, my spirit rejoices in God my Savior. 